Declaration of Principle number two states, we believe that the phenomena of nature, both physical and spiritual, are the expression of infinite intelligence, meaning of God. And so from this perspective, as we dig a little deeper into that principle, we understand that all of nature, everything, is God in expression. And it's really curious because in, in, in all religions, in all cultures, they speak of these ancient creation stories and how there was this principle, whether it be a grandfather, a grandmother, a goddess, or a god figure, Allah. These principles brought forward, right, this principle, singular, brought forward all in existence, the universe, the galaxies, the stars, the planets, the species, the, the animal kingdom, the, the plant kingdom, the mineral kingdom, the human species as it is, right? And so we understand that when we, that when we recognize that everything that's physical, including the laws of nature, gravity, radiation, and so on, there are spiritual laws, aren't there? Uh, for example, most people recognize the law of attraction. That is a universal natural law. And things of like kind are attracted to itself, right? To each other. And so there is laws of reciprocity, laws of giving and receiving, and so forth. And we recognize that all of these spiritual forces, spiritual laws, those are actually God in expression as well. So there's an intelligence that goes beyond, that's really the, the fabric of everything and every one in existence, and that is the principle, the force of God, the infinite intelligence of God. Now, let's jump into Declaration of Principle number three. Follow along.